The reopening comes after the visit of Secretary of State Antony Blinken a few months back and the signing of the U.S. Defense Corporation and President Biden's focus on Papua New Guinea and the Pacific. Prime Minister also welcomed the new representative of the U.S. AID office in PNG, Nino Nadiradzi. Nino brings significant global experience to the role, including other countries where she has served on senior roles, where she focused on many of the priorities PNG has identified for its own development. Nino Nadiradze as the new country representative for this office, as the Prime Minister indicated. Nino brings very significant global experience to the role, including most recently as country representative for the USAID office in Turkmenistan, when she where she focused on many of the priorities that PNG, PNG has identified for its own development, like supporting low carbon growth, empowering women and young people, and expanding access to healthcare services. Prime Minister Marape also reiterated on the meeting, saying that the presence of the U.S. in PNG is not just in security, but in all aspects on relationship with U.S. Marape also elaborated on the USAID's continued commitment to electrification agenda. Commitment to our electrification agenda, uh, she did remind us today on their contribution thus far. Uh, but USAID now back in PNG will amplify a uh, continued program in our country. I point to them the, uh, uh, the, the need for them to pick up our medium-term development plan uh, and to ensure that their support to us uh, comes in total uh, uh, harmony to our medium-term development plan as well as our focus in our vision 2050 to ensure we become a developed uh, middle-income earning nation by the time we arrive in 2050. The private meeting with Prime Minister Marape and USAID Administrator Pawa indicates the fullness of PNG's relationship with USA in terms of people to people, the government to government, and business to business by relations. Cynthia Maku, National MTV News.